This is going to be a gear video of what I keep in my homemade jump bag. Um, first things, these two pieces of equipment here. First is my work flashlight. Let's just go through quickly. These aren't part of the kit, but I use them often enough that they count. Nice 12 LED one. Um, also, trauma shears. This set I carry on me, so I have a really bad habit of spinning trauma shears. Um, these two items I carry on my belt when I'm working. Um, all this stuff was contained in an old backpack. I've now switched, after that broke, um, to regular store-bought luggage, regular carry-on bag. Works very well. Um, so, working my way through it, start with the stuff I use the most, don't want to say the most, but I use, I'm going to use, if I ever have to use this kit, I'm going to use it the most. So, first piece of equipment is trauma shear kit, can be mounted on your belt, I used to use this for work, got the new ones, happy about that. So this contains five pieces of equipment, um, first is a pair of bandage scissors. Um, also use some cutting thinner fabric. Um, one of three, two pen lights I carry in my kit and I also carry a reusable one on me. Um, pair of forceps or tweezers. Um, all this is matte black. It's a nice kit. Um, hemostats, and trauma shears. This is, in addition to ones I carry on me, this is a part of, this is one of three that I keep in my kit. And I said the case they come in. Also, because I don't know when I'm going to ever use this kit, or what the, I should say what the situation behind it is, keep a pair of heavy-duty leather work gloves. Um, moving on to the next compartment. In this bag, I keep my vital sign equipment, which if I can get to it, is a stethoscope, and a blood pressure cuff, kept in this bag. Moving on to the next thing, this is universal little tools that I keep that have no set purpose. Um, kind of fell apart. Two hemostats, needle drivers. Yes, I know I'm going to get corrections on that. I use them as forceps, they work, or as hemostats, they work, and another pair of forceps. I um, also keep another set of trauma shears and two multi tools. Um, moving on, this I kept on the side of my old kit and one reason behind it was it was easily accessible this stuck out of the pocket I pulled on it um, also if I'm going out like on a trip or anything I'll wear this on my belt um, and also this shows that the kit contains some first aid supplies if I'm not the one accessing this kit because a real jump bag was out of my price range um, in here, a bit of gear hound, so I go through every kit piece by piece. Keep a pair of a glove roll, roll of gauze, and two band-aids. Um, also keep a roll of tape, a few alcohol prep pads, a contents list, so I know what to restock this with, and a few 2x4, two 2x2s. Two Moving on, my, possibly my least favorite piece of equipment in the entire kit is a automatic blood pressure cuff. It's easy, but I've gotten more accurate readings quicker with my um, manual one, and this also gives you a bunch of information that you don't need to know, and it's confusing to somebody who has no training. This is all the small stuff that has a single function, as in it does one job, two jobs. Sorry about that maybe one or two other things. 
I use my stuff as multitasks as needed. Um, moving on to the other side, this is stuff that's kept inside my kit and it serves multiple functions. Trauma kit and first aid kit. This is the first aid kit printed in nice big bold letters. This is the trauma kit printed also in big yellow lettering. Um, to go over the first aid kit first, in here I keep a 4x4, a 3x3, and four 2x2s. Also in here I keep band-aids of assorted sizes. Um, a, this came with the kit, appears to be a foam canister, and it's supposed to be used like if you pull a tick or a splinter out of something, you can show the physician. Um, roll of paper tape. This is what also annoyed me. This kit's a bit older. I've replaced stuff that need to be replaced, but these gloves are either nitrile, I'm hoping, or latex, and I don't want to find out if they're latex by using them, so I carry a glove pack with me at all times. Um, cheap forceps, assuming they're better than nothing. Um, sterile cotton tipped applicator. Two tongue depressors. And I guess small splints if worse comes to worse. Three packets of triple antibiotic ointment. A pack of Blistex. Always good to have, I guess. And alcohol, iodine, cleaning pads, and two sting pads on here. Also, two cold compresses. Pretty much those squeeze and hit ice packs. Which work well, I actually like them. Just going to repack this because I need space to go over the trauma kit because that has a lot of equipment in it. And it is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I own. So, it looks a little chaotic, but I believe in the adage if it looks stupid and it works, it is not stupid. Um, my organization of this kit is kind of lacking. I've been trying to fix it, I just haven't had time. And pretty much equipment is used as dividers from other equipment, which bothers me. Um, sorry if this is turning a video about just what I have wrong with my kit. I've been trying to get a real pre-made jump bag that I can modify to my own um, liking. But it's been hard to find one that actually has good equipment in it. That I like. A lot of them contain good equipment, but they contain a little bit too much than what you need. Um, so that's the first aid kit. Moving on to the next piece. This is a five, well, when I got it, it was a five patient trauma kit. Um, held together with heavy duty zippers. And this has traveled with me before when I've gone to places that medical care was in the next state. Um, so, middle I don't like, it kind of falls apart, but I keep a pair of tweezers, a third pair of trauma shears from this kit, a pair of uh, friction, you know, prevents blisters, and once again, the um, easy identifiable in any one of my kits, black glove roll. They were the only thing I had lying around that was prepackaged. Um, sorry, my finger keep going in front of the lens. Um, also in here I keep another pen light. This is kind of weak, so I hope I don't have to use this by itself. A pen, important for handoff notes too, and a um, sting bite treatment stick. Um, also in here, and this is laid out in the way I like it, as in anything I will need quickly for minor stuff is in front i.e. a few stereo strips, band-aids. This always sound good to have. It's a mylar blanket used for everything and a notepad. Um, in this pocket I keep what 
is called Conforming Stretch. Brand name would be Kling. I keep... I believe it's five rolls. I had to use one. Um... Also in here, I keep part of my um, PPE equipment, which is personal protective equipment. And it consists of two masks with face shields. Um, also in here, I keep four, six bottles, I should say, of eye wash solution, which is really good because the full bottles you use, and then, yeah, this is single patient use. Um, moving on to the last compartment. In here is my general bag of everything. Um, cup that goes with the eye wash solution. Multiple, multiple, multiple glove rolls for me if I have multiple people or if I have help. Um, so it says gauze pads. The smallest in here is a 4x4, I believe, other than a ocular dressing. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And oh, one oval iPad. And a 4x3, which I added. Another cold pack. I swear by these for a lot of things. Second one. More ubiquitous glove rolls. A 5x... Multiple 5x9 trauma pads. Um, triple antibiotic ointment and that in sp spray form. Two cravats or triangle bandages, slings, tourniquets, you name it, they can be used for it. Second mylar blanket and two occlusive dressings. Um, I'll take a second to repack this. And I'm going to show you how, you, how it sits in the bag.